I'm not signing papers, man. That's not my daughter. Don't throw this I'm not paying thing. child support. We get divorced, right? Excuse it's me. not my daughter biologically. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And today's some crazy clips of the worst single mothers I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is absolutely insane. This single mother has no idea why she's still single. Now you're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life. I don't see why not. I mean, we're not together, like. But when's the last time you was intimate, intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Three weeks ago. With your child's father? Mm-hmm. You honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this? No, not really, because I know where my heart is. I absolutely cannot believe this woman really thinks she's doing nothing wrong. You are literally carrying baggage from the previous relationship into your next relationship. And you think these men are only going to be looking at what's inside your heart? Man, get that BS out of here. I have six kids and six baby daddies, and the question I get all the time is how much child support I get. That's the question they ask you? That's a good question, actually. My question is like, six baby daddies? How? You have a starting five and a six man off the bat. I think that I was pretty. No, you're not cute at all. Lying to this man about his child as you believe it to be. Threatening him, telling, lying to him, telling him he, you had an abortion of his child. Knowing that it was his child. Let me see the results. Playing games. Give you this and that. So you can tell that other man all that. That's not his child. Have a good day. Definitely one of the more satisfying court cases I've seen. But nowadays, modern day women will actually use their kids as revenge against the man. Thankfully, however, it wasn't this guy's kid. Feeling inspired from that lady that picks up dudes in jail and stuff. So guess what I'm doing today? She's outside of a correctional facility. Shit, I figure I'd give me one too. Why the hell not? Everything else has failed. Oh, All right, looks like this dude's coming through. Fit. He's psyched, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Six and a half hours later. <laughs> oh my God. Apparently this is a trend. Some women are contacting inmates and picking them up. Good for the inmates. <laughs> Meeting a stranger is wild. Meeting a stranger who just got out of prison is fucking insane. It's all a roll of the dice, Adam. Online dating, <laughs> inmate pickup. At least you, you get their information. You definitely know how tall they are because of the mugshot, it's right there. Yes. These are all people who are in prison, but at least you know who they are. Has the dating game gotten so bad out there that we are now going for our incarcerated individuals? Definitely. That prison kid's different. Now this clip really shows why there are so many single mothers out there. These kind of women are pursuing men that are literally coming out of prison. Now obviously, these are probably the only men actually pursuing them as well, because these women also bring nothing to the table, so they can't really ask for high-valued men. I, I don't really care what you think of me. I really don't. I don't care what you think. Come with three baby daddies and a criminal record. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> 14. So you just take your random pregnancy test? <gasps> so you tell me who is the kid that you've been dealing with? Because I didn't know you was dealing with anybody. Twelve. Now I'm not sure why this mother is recording this putting her daughter on blast because well she holds a lot of the responsibility herself. Your kids will end up just like yourself. They are mini versions of you. So if your kids in the street at 14, what does that show about the kind of mother figure you were in her life? Snap no. Oh no. Who you looking at? I don't know, but oh no. Swipe left for both. Ooh, okay, what up though? Ain't you don't like that? No ma'am. So why you say go left? You came up what up though? That's I how I talk. I ain't gonna change for you. You okay? You change it for me? Yeah, I'll try to be a gentleman for you. Oh, when well, I ain't no lady. And you smack your lip. You ain't no lady? Mm -mm. Hell no. Man, get, get me a lady, please. I mean, if this guy really wants ladies, he should not be on this show. None of these women are actually going to be ladies. These are all OnlyFans women. They're only on here trying to spit their OnlyFans account. I mean, this should be fairly obvious. I'm thinking the first year, because, I mean, you got that, that early part, and y'all really love each other so much, and then it's like... After about six or seven months, it's like they start really showing themselves to you. And then you kind of like, ah, can I deal with this? About a year in, you're like, this is who this person is. I've been married 10 years. Mm -hmm. I don't think going, I don't think being with somebody for yeah. a year is enough to know who they yeah. are. I've been married 10 well, years. Well, as far as like your deal breakers is what I'm talking about. 10 years of marriage. And to this day, it's stuff about my wife. Like there's certain things that I'm not a fan of. Mm -hmm. But like you have to give and take. There's certain shit that I do that I can, I know she can't stand. You have to give and take, bro. So I can, I can easily be like, man, somebody out there would not do that. 
Now, this may be an unpopular take, but I do agree with this woman. It really only should take someone about a year for you to understand who that person is. If it takes you any longer, I'm sorry to say, you're probably emotionally stupid. It doesn't take 10 years in order for you to really realize who you're with. Plus, people change along the way. You're not the same person you were 10 years ago. I don't want you guys listening to this kind of advice thinking you could never marry someone, all because you're scared of the kind of person they're going to become in 10 years. It's fairly obvious to see the kind of person you're with the first year you're with them. Anyone looking for a housewife? Blonde hair? 5'2"? Blue eyes. Blonde hair? 5'2"? Blue eyes. Anyone looking for a housewife? Housewife. Housewife. There's not enough perfect women to go around. And even if there is, they don't want you. And in addition to that, some of us evil, lazy women, we want love and affection too. Like, you, everybody can't get a kind, caring, loving woman. Some of y'all are just gonna have to settle for us evil, lazy- Now I'm trying really hard to figure out if this is just sarcasm or actually a real clip. Does she really think she deserves a man by describing herself in this kind of way? I really hope this is satire. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments. Any questions for our lady here? Yes. Okay. So, uh, from your, pa your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that only because we're starting off new. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I don't want to bring what was in the past into something I'm starting new. Mm -mm. This girl cheated. I mean, it's so obvious to see that. If you're unable to say what happened in the previous relationship and what went wrong, then you are definitely the problem here. And this guy, honestly, definitely dodged a bullet. Anyways, we vlogging. Did you guys hear the bullets wheezing by her head? I mean, natural selection at its finest. She is so lucky she didn't die. There was like six bullets that went past her head. Women have a female nature. How is hoflation even an issue? Hoflation is just a term. We have divine femininity. Oh, maybe? Okay, it could be having to do with like inflation. You know, things cost a lot more now. Luxury lifestyles are in. Everyone wants to be living that social media lifestyle. And so, you know, they want to have a man who can support that lifestyle without having to work and I think it was more normalized just to be a housewife and not to go on trips and to get fancy cars and stuff so maybe it was more uh, just a different lifestyle so that's why we are way more superior than you guys <laughs> without women men wouldn't exist <laughs> you guys are actually nothing <laughs> because without us you're useless you wouldn't even be born <laughs> okay and all men whether you were with them for 10 years or not will cheat and lie so it doesn't really matter <laughs> i absolutely hated the woman in the end oh my god the way she's talking the way she's dressed just really goes to show the kind of men she was encountering and the kind of men she still wants men are not like that but the kind of men that she likes are also i'm gonna have to say the only reason she's dressed up like this is for men's attention so hate men all you want but you're not dressed up like this for yourself At what point are we just gonna say like not only is this not art but the art world is sick it has been poisoned with absolute ridiculous conceptual contemporary garbage this is a poison it's a sickness it's a parasite these people are getting grants selling their work they shouldn't they should have no access to this kind of garbage we're fucking the art world is sick. Now, the interesting thing about art is it really represents the art of that time period and judging by the kind of art we're seeing now i'm saying it's representing our time period perfectly it's absolute stupidity and the kind of people who are spending money on this also represents them as well perfectly because they're just throwing their money away on completely useless things okay but yeah you well, said you had questions i'm gonna have to say no and the reason I have to say no is because you being a high school teacher, you have to be a good role model and influence for your kids and you dating like somebody like me. What is somebody like you? Uh, like a reality TV star, rapper, a whole like you, you, that's not a good example for your children. Um, I mean like my private life, my private life ain't nobody. I know, but I'm such a public figure that if we was dating, I feel like everybody would know that your kids would be like, oh my God, know. like you're dating, dying a body. I mean, like, I, I respect that. As many times I've been viral, my students admit, 
haven't ever been able to find me. So, you know what I'm saying? But I respect your choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I, I'm I looking out it. for the kids. You can look out for the kids. I appreciate you. But I don't give a damn about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm saying, you know, like, just... if, if I'm at a grocery store and they see me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just... No, I get what you're saying, yeah. but me personally, because you are such a good man, I, I, I want you. you to be with a, a better woman. I appreciate you. I sure. know I'm no good for you. I mean, that's what you say, but I mean, I appreciate you. I, I mean, you. I probably could put it on you, but I can't give you nothing else with some pussy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we might can talk about it later, but this, I, I want to yeah. really, like, I don't want to ruin your life. You can't. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible. But again, I'm going to respect you. you Thank know, you so much. Choice, you know I appreciate saying? it. You, know, you look respect. really nice. You I love, love the outfit. Is this teacher stupid? I mean, for being a teacher, he's kind of dumb. She is literally telling you that she is not good for you. And you're trying to convince her she is? She is a huge red flag. She even called herself a 304. I mean, I give her so much credit for doing this because a lot of women won't. So instead of you actually understanding and knowing what's best for you in your life, you're still deciding to pursue a woman who is describing herself in this kind of way? I mean, come on. Sometimes men are just absolutely so stupid as well. And we'll get a woman like this pregnant. Do you want this kind of woman to be raising your kids? Be serious. Something you never told each other. I cheated like three years ago. You cheated? Yeah. What? Yeah. You're dating my brother. You showing him? Yeah. What? Ashley, what? Why? Oh you mean to say that? No, I meant to say no. that. No, I don't know. No, but yeah, we just, we just gotta film the interview though. No, I'm not. I, just, no. I had to be honest. I'm not. My Are brother, you? Colin, I'll have to do that. I had to say something. You cheated on Colin? Well, yeah, it was actually. It wasn't that serious. You didn't tell it me. Wasn't that serious. And you never told me I'm your best friend. It's my brother. I know, but it, I didn't think you'd be. I thought the breakup was mutual. You cheated on him? He didn't know that. Ashley, what? <laughs> I don't know. No. no. It wasn't that serious. No. I thought you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care if my brother. Damn, I guess this is what it looks like to have consequences for your actions. You really thought spreading your 304 secrets was gonna be super funny and hilarious for everyone to see. Honestly, a round of applause for this sister as well. She's still looking out for her brother, even though this relationship was a long time ago. I'm not signing papers, man. That's not my daughter. Don't throw this I'm not paying child Don't support. We get divorced, paper. right? Excuse it's me. not my daughter biologically. You signed these adoption papers, giving these child the same biological rights as a child who is your own. Bro, I didn't sign the birth certificate. What adoption paper? What did I, where did I sign them at? I got the papers. Okay, you got the papers. It's you ain't got no papers. Somewhere. Did he sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't sign the birth certificate. I didn't sign the birth certificate. That's what I'm saying. That's not my daughter biologically. Her daddy, but she, her daddy in jail. But she was there since she was born. Okay, what that mean? You adopted her, though. I got the adoption papers somewhere. Okay, but what that mean? Somewhere. I'm not paying child support. We were married for seven years. Just pull out the birth certificate. Okay, it don't, it don't really matter if we were married or not. It don't really matter. That's not my daughter. Like, I'm not about to pay child support. You you move on, meet somebody else. Then he's taking care of you and your daughter. You're getting double benefits. How did that sound? Once you adopt this child, it becomes yours. In the same but what I'm saying is, where are the papers at? I, I, I understand. Do you have the papers? She don't know where the papers is even at. In, um, That's what I'm saying. She's so unorganized. That's why we're getting divorced now. You're not let's organized. Let's, let's, First of all, you're the reason why my, my okay, brain is fucked up. Whatever, but this, let's, let's, this, let's, this is your let's choice. Pump the let's pump the this is your we're choice. We're going to take a break. And we're going to come back in like 15 minutes. This is your choice. It's 15 minutes. Can we talk about 15 minutes for what? I'm not signing that. You, it's you, not my key. Papers. You're signing these papers. You I'm can not signing nothing. No, I'm not. I just told you I'm not signing this. Now the clip does not end here, however I have to say thank god this man did not sign those papers for custody or for adoption. There's a lot of men out there that will still pursue single mothers, and honestly there's nothing wrong with it as long as you don't take care of the financial burden of that child. If you just want to be a father figure in that life and spend zero money, go for it. But the moment that woman starts requesting you to pay money for that child, and basically she's bringing her burden into that relationship, that's where I start crossing the line. But like I said, the clip doesn't end there and it actually gets a bit worse. My baby daddy is in jail. Yeah, I spent a whole lot of money on y'all too. I ain't spending no more money. And I didn't ask you to do it. Okay. I never asked you to, to do any of I what you did. I did it because I loved you. And, and you I don't love your Charlotte? Daughter. Okay. But guess what? So the love when... is gone. The thrill is gone. You know, BB King, the, the thrill love is, is gone. gone. So love just. It's gone. Five. I'm closing the chapter right now. Like, go take your little break. 15 minute break. Go take your break. Come back. I'm not signing that paper. I will sign a divorce paper, but I'm not paying no child support. If I got. If I'm I... going to find the adoption papers. And you're gonna sign this paper. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna give me a lawyer too. I don't care. I'm gonna it's get a attorney. Lawyer. Too. The papers are signed. Okay, I'm gonna get a lawyer. I'm not. Even, we're not gonna discuss this anymore. I'm, I'm done. Y'all done? Because I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a lawyer. There's two ways to really handle this. You can get a lawyer, which is 
by your own regard you're able to do. But the more this is dragged yeah. out, the more it becomes more like child support and less like supporting Charlotte like you already have been. And one seems a little more expensive than the other. All right. And well, those are the only two. I'm going to get a lawyer. I can pay for the money. I can afford a lawyer. I'm cool. So y'all so can, really can go talk shit. about some different terms. You're not shit. Yo, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing all that? Yeah, man, this guy should definitely lawyer up. And I don't care how much money he has to spend on the lawyer. It's way better than paying for a kid that's just not yours. And she also said, her baby daddy is in prison, so I have to criticize this guy a bit. Why are you messing around with women who have baby daddies in prison? That should immediately kind of tell you what kind of woman you're dealing with. Because you're not gonna have a very peaceful, calm life with a woman who has a baby daddy in prison. These women are used to chaos. And trust me, if they can't find chaos in the relationship, they will make it. And that's exactly why they're getting divorced. But anyways, that's just my opinion, guys, because that does wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do want more content just like this, Please watch the videos you guys see at the top screen. It does my channel a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.